So tell me the connection between the NFL and this car. Ralph Hay owned the Canton Bulldogs, and he was in the car business. He thought that football would help him sell more cars. The legend has it on September 17, 1920, Ralph Hay and the other football owners, like George Hallis, the owner of the Decatur Staley's, they had this meeting. There were 11 teams at that time, and in order to join this group, you had to put up $100 for a franchise. There weren't enough chairs for everybody, so we sat around uh, on the uh, running boards of the Hupmobile car. Supposedly, they were sitting on the running boards of the Hupmobiles, drinking Prohibition beer. I brought some later. Oh, yeah. Well, well good decisions always come out of sitting around drinking beer. So oh. this Hupmobile was instrumental in starting the National Football League. That's exactly right. You want to take it for a drive? I'd love to. All right, here we go. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time. I feel like well, I'm, I'm not excited at all. I'm just nervous. Do, do we... All right, let me, let me show you what we do here. Make sure we're in neutral. Where's the N? There's no N that tells you. The what? Like an N or D or R. That's just a. No, there's no N or D or R. A little bit of gas. OK, OK. Put the clutch in. Clutch is the N one. No, the clutch is the last one over Put there. Put it in. Put it all the way to the floor. Hold it down. OK, well, keep it down. OK. OK, now put this into first gear. Pull it back. Now slowly let the clutch out, giving it gas as you do. Keep Nothing, coming. Nothing's happening. Keep coming. Nothing's, oh gosh. Keep coming. It's getting louder. No, not, no, okay, just. I'm slow. Keep, not so much gas. Okay, let the clutch out. Why don't I drive? Yeah, yeah. 